This mountain road is very bumpy, so it is difficult for vehicles to drive on it. So it is called Yama Slope by the locals, and accidents can easily happen there. However, for experienced drivers who are familiar with the local road conditions, it is not a problem. They are able to drive over the uphill with the help of wolves without any problem. This anecdote confused novice drivers as to why the wolves would help them. Did wolves really help people? In the winter of 1981, Joe, a truck driver, was ordered to make a delivery to this area. Joe was 25 years old and had just gotten his truck license. It was his first business trip, and he had to pass through the mountain road called Yama Slope on the way, but Joe wasn't afraid. He brought enough dry food and warm water bottles, as well as prepared other items and set off. Soon, he was heading north to his destination. It was cold and the snow was getting thicker on both sides of the road, and Joe was looking around like a kid on his first day out, curious and new and not tired. It wasn't long before he came to a rather steep road up a mountain. It was nearing evening, so Joe turned on his lights, and his body undulated with the vibrations. The truck was struggling on the thin ice, and Joe was driving carefully. He knew that if the speed was too fast, it would be easy to have an accident on the ice, and if the speed was too slow, it would be difficult to move forward. At that time, this is very test of the driver's technical and psychological quality. As time went on, Joe's patience was exhausted. During an uphill climb, he couldn't resist stepping on the gas to get up faster, but he almost died. Suddenly the car's engine lost its sound, and the truck began to gradually decline. Joe rushed to apply the brakes to stop the truck's backward movement, but the slope of Yama Slope has already formed a layer of solid ice. Although the truck's tires stopped rotating, it was still sliding. At that moment, Joe felt panic. He sat helplessly in the van, not daring to open the door to escape and not knowing what to do. He tried to restart the van, but could not succeed. He wondered if he was going to die. Just as Joe was about to break down, a pack of bright-eyed wolves gathered on either side of the hill. The wolves, which were thin in size and had grayish fur, were looking at the truck parked in the middle of the road. It was then that Joe suddenly remembered what a master had told him. He said that if he encountered difficulties on Yama Slope, he could ask the local wolves for help and they would help him. He opened the car door and then picked up several rocks of different sizes on the roadside to pad behind the tires to prevent the truck from continuing to slide. Joe then slowly approached the wolves. It was comforting to know that the wolves were really not malicious. After seeing him approach, they did not pounce but hung their heads and let out a low howl as if to remind Joe that they could help him. This made Joe feel happy, so he rushed back to the car and took out two strands of strong twine. According to the master's method, he tied one end of the twine to the head of the car and threw the other end to the howling wolves. The next scene shocked Joe. The wolves leaped down from the slope and opened their long, narrow mouths to grab the twine Joe threw at them. Then they pushed up the slope in unison, neatly and skillfully, as if they had done it many times before. At first the truck was motionless, like a large monster standing on the snow-covered highway. Joe's eyes were wide open, as if he was laughing at the scrawny wolves. After a while, however, the wolves found the perfect spot to launch themselves, and the truck was moved. Joe stood on the top of the hill, and clearly saw the direction of the van's headlights change. The wolves had actually dragged the van and brought it up the hill. He looked back gratefully at the pack of wolves that had stopped where they were. He didn't have any gifts with him, so he took out the only boxes of canned food he had and tore them open and put them in front of the pack. Joe sincerely told the wolves that the next time he came over he would bring them fresh meat. The wolves seemed to understand his words and howled softly and ate the canned food. They didn't give Joe a hard time, and after eating the canned food, 
they silently went back to the sides of the hill, as if they wanted to see him leave safely before they were relieved. Joe felt very warm, and he waved at the wolves before driving away in the van. On his return trip, Joe didn't forget the wolves that had helped him get out of danger, so he bought half a pig locally, and packed it in the wagon to give to these wolves. After arriving, Joe deliberately stopped the car and honked the horn several times. Then he got out of the car, and stood on the side of the road. Not long after, the wolves slowly marched up the hill, and Joe was so happy to see this, that he opened the carriage door and greeted the wolves. The wise wolves soon jumped down the hill and ran near the wagon. Joe smiled and pointed to the pork and pointed to the wolves, saying that it was for them. The wolves understood Joe's meaning and dragged the pork down, like ants carrying something. Together, these wolves moved the pork away. Joe saw and once again felt the intelligence of the wolves. When he returned home, Joe couldn't wait to find the master who had warned him. He gave him cigarettes and alcohol as a token of his appreciation. Without the experience he gave, Joe would not have been able to get out of the situation. While chatting, Joe asked this master why the pack of wolves would help people move their cars. He wanted to know how the drivers got the wolves to help them tow their cars. It turned out that this incident happened a long time ago. In the early 1950s, the process of building this mountain road was extremely difficult, especially because the workers had a hard time working in the cold winter. At that time, it was difficult for them to chisel out the marks, and what was even more difficult, was that it was difficult to bring up the materials for building the road. It took the workers all their strength to go a short distance. However, a strange event happened to change the workers' difficult situation. At that time, Yama Slope was not yet famous, and people were already anticipating the risk of driving later when building this section of the road. They did their best to lay the ramp gently, even so it was still very steep, compared to other sections. During the construction process, the construction team inadvertently found a pack of wolves, which made them feel very scared. It is very dangerous to meet wolves in the wild, as they are not only powerful and have sharp claws and teeth but also extremely cunning, so pedestrians can easily be eaten by them. Therefore, the workers proposed to kill the wolves to avoid accidents afterwards. However, Mike, the captain of the construction team, was very kind, and said that since the wolves did not actively attack them, they should not hurt them either. He said and they destroyed the wolves' peaceful home to build the road, so they should not hurt them even more. When Mike saw the dying wolves, he took pity on it, and found some food to give it. What they didn't expect was that Mike's good deed, would be a big help to the construction team. In the afternoon, a pack of wild wolves stood silently on the hillside. The shadow of the wolves blocked the sun, so the workers felt shady. They looked up in suspicion and saw ten or so grey wolves, so they retreated in fear. Then a surprising scene happened. The wolves jumped down and pulled the rope on the unicycle. In a short time, they pulled the cart up the hill. The wolves did not stop until the carts were all pulled to the top of the hill. They stood on the slope and looked at the workers. Everyone was shocked and could hardly believe that the wolves had helped them. An older man in the group came forward with a solemn face, then took out half of the dry food and gave it to the wolves, receiving drips of water when in need. And I shall return the kindness with a spring. The wolves had helped them so they should return the favor. After the others froze for a while, they also took out food and put it gently next to the wolves. So the construction team formed a tacit agreement with the wolves, and whenever the construction was difficult, the wolves would run out to help them, and the workers would take out food as a reward for the wolves' help. After a long time, there was a local rumor that the wolves exchanged their labor for food, and Joe was enlightened after hearing this. The wolves that settled near the hillside actually worked to earn a living, just like humans. Miraculous things are always happening. That's today's story.
click to subscribe for more interesting stories.